Installing PC Transporter in your 2E. You have three choices for video output when using the PC Transporter with the 2E. If you have an analog RGB monitor, such as the Apple Color Monitor commonly sold with the 2GS, or the Sony Monitor sold by Applied Engineering, you can use it for both Apple and PC Transporter video. Refer to the 2E cable installation section of the manual for details about using an analog monitor. You can also use an Apple compatible composite monitor. It will allow you to automatically switch between Apple and PC transporter video. Your third option is to use a separate digital CGA compatible monitor such as an IBM style monitor or the Sony monitor in digital mode. But it will work with only PC transporter video. If you are using a digital monitor with the transporter, follow these steps. Locate the digital RGB adapter cable. It is an optional cable and is not included with the installation kit. Remember, the cable may have a slightly different appearance, but its installation and function will be the same. Find an unused small-sized opening in the 2E's backplane. Secure the female connector in the 2E's backplane using the screws provided. Now, attach the male 10-pin connector to the female 10-pin connector on the transporter as shown here. The cable stripe must be toward the top edge of the PC transporter. Now, connect the disk drive cable. It is a 19-wire ribbon cable with a female 20-pin flat cable connector on one end and a female 19-pin connector on the other. Mount the 19-pin connector onto the backplane using the screws provided. Again, the stripe must be on the top edge of the cable. Now, attach the female 20-pin connector to the male 20-pin connector on the transporter. This connector will fit easily in one direction only. Connecting an IBM-style keyboard. 2E owners may fast-forward to the next section if they do not intend to use an IBM-style keyboard. 2 Plus owners must now install the IBM keyboard cable. The IBM style keyboard connector cable is sold separately from the 2E installation kit. It looks like this. Simply mount the DIN connector onto the backplane through one of the small openings using the screws provided. Make sure that the stripe is on the top edge of the cable. Now attach the 5-pin female connector to the 5-pin male connector on the PC transporter as shown here. The connector was made so that it will fit easily in one direction only. Attaching the 2E keyboard adapter. Two plus owners may fast forward to the next section. If you want to use the 2E's keyboard with the PC transporter, locate the 2E's keyboard cable connector. It is located on the far right side of the 2E motherboard. Disconnect the 2E's keyboard cable connector from the Apple's motherboard. Now, locate the 2E keyboard adapter card. It looks like this. Attach the 2E's female keyboard connector to the male connector on the adapter card. Connect the 2E keyboard adapter card to the 2E's motherboard at location J1. The 10-wire cable should be leading away from the board toward the computer's backplane. Now, connect the male 10-pin connector from the adapter card to the female 10-pin connector on the transporter, as shown here. Again, the stripe on the cable must be toward the top edge of the PC transporter. If you are using an Apple-compatible composite monitor, follow these steps. First, locate the composite video cable. It has a 2-pin female connector on one end and a 4-pin female connector on the other end. Next, locate the 4-pin male connector directly behind the keyboard adapter card on the Apple's motherboard. Attach the 4-pin female connector to the 4-pin male. This connector may be difficult to install, so take your time and be sure to align the connectors correctly. Now, attach the female 2-pin connector to the male connector on the PC transporter in the position shown here. Attaching the speaker cable. Have the supplied speaker cable ready. It has a two-pin connector on either end. Disconnect the existing Molex connector from location J18 on the Apple's motherboard. 
This connector is located on the right corner of the motherboard closest to the keypad. Connect either end of the supplied cable to the connector at J18 on the Apple's motherboard as shown here. Make sure that the connectors are properly aligned. Connect the free end of the supplied speaker cable to one of the two pin connectors located toward the keyboard end of the PC transporter. Attach the connector that you have unplugged from the motherboard to the remaining two pin connector on the transporter. Inserting the PC transporter. Now you are ready to insert the PC transporter card into its slot. Pick up the card like so. Be careful not to touch the chips or the gold fingers. Rest the card on top of the slot with the chip side toward the right of the Apple's case. Carefully line up the card in its slot and gently push down on the back of the card with the palm of one hand. You may want to rock it slightly from back to front to help seat it firmly. If the card does not go in easily, check for any cables that may be blocking the slot. Now you can replace your existing cards. Use the installation documentation for each card and refer to the diagrams you have made to make sure the cards are replaced correctly. Don't move an expansion card to a new slot unless you are familiar with the card slot requirements. Moving the external connectors, however, should cause no problem. Now, reattach the peripherals. Start with the peripheral connections you originally had, then connect the transporter's peripherals. The IBM-style keyboard attaches to the female 5-pin DIN connector. The male DB9 connector of your digital RGB monitor connects to the female DB9 connector here. A composite monitor does not need any special connections to work with PC transporter. Simply reconnect the composite monitor to the Apple IIe's RCA video jack. PC compatible disk drives can be connected in a number of combinations. Some basic guidelines are the five and a quarter inch drives referred to as standard drives must be connected before three and a half inch drives. You must have at least one Apple compatible drive connected directly to your Apple and at least one PC compatible drive connected to PC Transporter's disk drive connector. Once you have reinstalled all the cards, close the case. Installation is complete.